underlying moral force to the situation, that inspirational message still applies. But what's the rest of the message? Just yesterday, the AP reported that the U.S. military is doubling down on its work with Yemen's military, training that country's counterterrorism unit for the first time at a cost of 75 million American dollars. Sam, you are such a good dog. King Jordan, facing unrest in the streets of his own country, got a super high-powered visit from the American chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the number three official in the U.S. State Department. How's that for a show of support? And in Algeria and Bahrain, while, while U.S. officials are not bending over backwards to show support for those strongman governments, they're not exactly encouraging revolt in the streets they are the way they are with Iran, either. Cat smell dog butt, too? I guess so. You know, maybe there's just something about dog butts that we're missing. You know, I'm okay with that. Look at this. Sam, you are the best dog in the world. He's eating chips? Yeah, give him tiny little pieces of protein chips. Or to get very acrobatic in our efforts to avoid talking about it. Joining us now is NBC News Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent okay. Andrea Mitchell. Okay. Andrea, thanks very much for your time tonight. You bet. What, what, can you tell, what, what can you tell us about how the administration is calibrating its response to these, these different protest movements uh, in countries where we've associated with government? Well, they say that they're all different. First of all, they say they are being consistent. <laughs> You're eating on top of my phone. That's awesome, dog. Reform. For no violence by the state or actually by the protesters, and for the universal right to free speech. Hillary Clinton has laid that out. That Does the, the cat licking his dresses. tail? Yes. What did I tell you about them? Internally. For instance, that calls for reform apply to Bahrain and Jordan, where people are protesting, but they're not necessarily seeking the immediate... The cat! No. No. The monarchs there have taken some small steps. Small steps. Even though they have to do a lot more. Sit. They're seen by the U.S. as being less repressive than Egypt was and than Yemen is. In Bahrain, by the way, you also have a different situation. You have a Sunni king 